From virtual reality to reality reality, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Audi Summit. And to those of you joining us around the world from the live stream, welcome to Barcelona. Um, normally, Barcelona is the kind of place, if you like, football, tapas, Pablo Picasso, and churches that take 150 years to build. But today, it's the place to be if you like fast cars enough to blow your curly hair straight. Today, you're going to see some incredible vehicles, hear from some incredible people, probably mostly whose names I'm going to mispronounce. <laughs> but together, we're going to look under the hood, behind the scenes, and into the future. For those of you who don't know me, um, my name is Lionel Messi. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't have one athletic bone in my body, okay? My name is actually Kunal Nayar. And you might know me from a little television show called The Big Bang Theory. Yeah? Thank you very much, one person. The Big Bang Theory, yeah. I play an astrophysicist called Raj Kutrapali. Raj is known to nerd out about planetary objects like the Kuiper Belt. But today, I, Kunal, I am going to geek out with you guys about Audi. Audi and I actually go way back. I emceed the event there in Las Vegas in 2014. I remember not much because it was Las Vegas. <laughs> I remember two things. I'm very bad at blackjack. And two, Audi CEO, Rupert Stadler, was driven on stage in the 1930s era horse by a chauffeur. After him came the Audi A7, piloted by a very tiny computer called the ZFAS. Okay, this, this computer is so cool. Like if, if Raj were to describe it, he'd say, what would he say? He'd say, the ZFAS is a computer that fuses data from LiDAR, light waves, and ultrasonic frequencies at a rate of 2.5 billion inputs per second. Then there'd be a huge applause from you guys because Raj is very funny. You're going to see some amazing vehicles today, guys. Just, just amazing stuff. This is just the beginning, okay? Today is a demonstration of Audi's vision for the future of mobility. But first, let's just bend time itself and bring the past and the future together. Whether sport or luxury, Coupe, SUV, or sedan. Whether family or business, racing or cruising. At Audi, we do not just build cars. We have always shaped the future. Come with us and experience Audi. Today, it's all about Audi, and Audi is all about performance on and off the racetrack. These things go hand in hand. Innovations first designed for the track become innovations that I can park in my garage. Audi's racing heritage is legendary, and it's not just the vehicles that have made names for themselves. I now have the honor of introducing two Audi's legendary drivers. Please join me in welcoming here at the Audi Summit, Barcelona, Walter Rohrl and Matthias Ekstrom. Absolute, absolute legends. Walter, uh, let, me, 
Let me start with Walter here. Let me take you back 30 years to this very day, July 11th, 1987. Walter gets behind the wheel of his Audi Sport Quattro S1 E2. He stares up at this hill, okay? He looks up at 12.42 mile Pikes Peak Hill climb. Uh, what is that? 156 turns, 4,700 vertical feet. A road that was just gravel at the time. Hairpin turns over rocky cliffs and no guardrails. Um, the legend is that your wife reminded you one mistake and you're dead. Sounds yeah, like my wife. <laughs> it was like this. And I tell you, if you drive up first time this road and you see all these stitches 500 meters deep, you get this opinion. All right, wow. But <laughs> the 11 minute barrier was thought to be unbreakable. And it was until that day. So how do you do it? You know, take us through it. I tell you, uh, finally, it was not so difficult. Then first of all, Audi gave me a car incredibly good. That was the first point. The second one, I was really well prepared. I was always sure what is coming next. And finally, at this time, I had a really self-confidence and I was sure I will never make a mistake. Yeah, well, uh, doesn't sound easy at all, okay? It's incredibly impressive. It's easy to, uh, to see why you, you've been such an inspiration and an idol to young drivers. Is, is that true? Yeah, for me, it's the same. I mean, I was growing up with uh, watching Walter and other drivers driving the Audi S1, and I think Walter got the best out of it to drive the Pikes Peak version, and uh, for sure, it's something that uh, I was following as a kid. Well, don't be so humble, okay, Matthias, because you have your own very amazing story. Just last year, you drove the Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro to your very first World Rally Cross Championship. So you opened the, uh, the first season as the reigning world champion with three straight wins starting right here in Barcelona. And you said that was the most challenging race of your life. Can you explain why? For me, it's always very special to win races which are hard fought. Um, some races look a bit easier and some are tougher. And uh, that one I will uh, always remember as a weekend uh, with a big challenge from start to finish. And then the champagne is always tasting a bit better at the podium. Well, you two are great legends of the Four Rings. Uh, but let me ask you a question. You two arrived in separate cars, but would you ever consider a, a, a swap? Ah, maybe that's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> Matthias, you saying you can handle this beast? I'm sure I can. Let's try it. All right. Thank you to these two legends of the four rings. And now, ladies and gentlemen, pedal to the floor and on with the show.
Qualify a Formula E championship. The reinvention of racing. away. Is it just unusual? Must it be strange? Or always complicated? We don't think so. E-tron, G-tron, H-tron, the new alternative.
prestige for cutting edge technologies. Enjoy Audi Sport. their garage to look like this. Of course, these vehicles get far more exciting when you take them out of the garage. And it's not just the horsepower. You have heads-up display, 4G LTE connectivity, Google Earth, and a road stretching towards the horizon. Uh, between you and me, I love that today I get to see what Audi is doing next before my friends do. So now, I want to invite a man who has been planning the future projects at Audi since 2002. Just to put that in perspective, in 2002, me, I, I was getting a degree in finance. What can I say? I was young, I was wild, I hadn't yet chosen the sensible, stable career of acting. Just goes to show you how much things can change. So now, to explain to you what you think about the future, please welcome on stage member of the Board of Management of Audi AG for Sales and Marketing, Dr. Dietmar Fockenreiter. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Here on stage, you can see the DNA of our brand, Audi. The highest quality, innovative technology and super emotional design. This is what Audi defines today. Today, when you see the four rings, you think of TFSI, TDI, Quattro lightweight construction. In the future, something else will come to your mind because Audi will be more than a car manufacturer for amazing cars. In the future, you will be thinking of Audi e-tron, my Audi, and Audi AI. Let me explain this to you. We are transforming from a premium car manufacturer into a premium digital car company. In the future, ladies and gentlemen, we will of course still be selling 
super beautiful cars. And on top, we will offer services and solutions that go beyond the car. With everything we do, we strive to improve your daily life, the daily life of our customers. Give them, for example, additional time. We call this the 25th hour. Keep our customers always connected to the world. Surprise our customers with sustainable solutions and unique experiences. In a nutshell, we will make their lives easier with our new technologies, Audi e-tron, my Audi, and Audi AI. Let's start with my Audi. My Audi will become our central internet platform, the ecosystem that connects your car to the environment and connect the car with you. My Audi is the basis for many additional services to come. In the near future, we will introduce, for example, functions on demand. It will enable you to activate additional features in your Audi whenever you want or need them. With this platform, My Audi, you will also book Audi on demand, our premium mobility services. For example, when you are on a business trip in a different city. Second, Audi e-tron. Audi e-tron stands for our clear vision of emission-free mobility for cars that perfectly combine sustainability, sportiness, and everyday practicality without any compromises. e-tron means plug-in hybrid cars and fully electric cars. They keep you and our customers mobile in cities despite of emission restrictions. In the same philosophy, we are offering other alternative drivetrains and synthetic e-fuels. Take, for example, Audi Citron. Powered by Audi eGas, uh, Audi Chicron model emits at least 80%, 80 80% less CO2 than a comparable gasoline-powered car. And finally, third, Audi AI. This term stands for intelligent and even self-learning assistance systems and piloted driving solutions. It enables us to redefine personal mobility in many ways. And this will give you the 25th hour a day. More to come later in Rupert Stadler's speech to this today. Ladies and gentlemen, Audi e-tron, my Audi, and Audi AI. This is what our brand will stand for in the future. And today, we will present to you the ambassador of these new values, the all-new Audi A8. It embodies our heritage as well as our future. With this car, ladies and gentlemen, we are creating a whole new experience of premium, enjoying comfort really on the next level, surrounded by high-quality materials and outstanding design interacting with revolutionary user interfaces and gaining more time through smart technologies. The Audi A8 is our first model developed for highly automated, automated driving at level three. This technology of autonomous driving will completely change our mobility. We anticipated this already a decade ago Back in 2004, we introduced a vision of the future, the Audi RSQ.
You remember this car? This car was one of the stars in the Hollywood movie iRobot. It showed our vision of autonomous driving in the year 2035. In the movie, the hero could always choose whether he wanted to take the control or leave the driving to the RSQ. Back then, this was science fiction, but fiction will soon become reality. Ladies and gentlemen, the new A8 will take us one step further. Let's say, forget the car, the new Audi A8 is more and Audi is more. Thank you. Fantastic, just absolutely fantastic. This is where science fiction becomes just plain amazing, mind-blowing science. If the A8 is the flagship, it's now my great pleasure to introduce the two men who designed the flag. Mark Lichter and Matthias Van Tuel, please come up here. Good to see you. A few, a few years ago, Mark debuted the new Audi design language prologue in Los Angeles, and I think the response it received made him a real Hollywood star in his own right. Matthias created the interior of the new Audi A8. They say that what really counts is on the inside, <laughs> and Matthias took that very literally. Um, Mark, you've been Audi's head of design for the past three and a half years, and today for the first time an Audi that you designed on a blank sheet of paper is going to be revealed to the world. So this must be a very special moment for you. Kunal, honestly speaking, it's a very emotional moment for me because um, I have to say that to design the first Audi on a white piece of paper is a very emotional moment, but not just for me, but for the whole entire Audi design team. Mm. And uh, we are, I have to say that we are really proud about this new car. Um, this car delivers on a promise made by the Audi Prolog concept car, which we present in the year 2014 in Los Angeles. And Audi stands for sportiness, lightweight construction, eye-catching design, and quattro permanent all-wheel drive. Okay. Uh, and the Audi Prolog brings these elements together in one uh, luxury coupe car. Wow. How would you uh, describe the key characteristics of the new design language? Like, what was, uh, what was your biggest challenge? There are three words, very simple. Audi. Audi, this Audi's core brand values, sporty, progressive, and sophisticated. That is our design language, the basic for design language, and expect uh, the Audi brand personality. Okay, wow. So, um, explain to me, like, okay, let's, actually, let's go to you, Matthias, for a second. Yeah. Explain to us the, the design of the inside of the A8. Well, first of all, it was very important for us to create space and prestige in the interior. And one of the key elements of this is what we call the wraparound. It really creates space and width inside of the interior. But it also carries the black panel architecture and embraces it. And it, this is the place where all digital interaction with the car takes place. It has a very three-dimensional feel, but it's very important to know that this architecture is purely dedicated to touch interface. And that was very important. The next step, though, was really interesting because we had to take this vision and work together with the technical experts at Audi to turn this idea into reality. And we managed to create a very holistic design, which is characterized by a very strong sense of unity that is, the black panel architecture gives a very spacious and minimalistic aesthetic. It has a very clear hierarchy because everything 
is there and it really creates space inside of the car. And it has a perfect consistency. And we are sure that people will love this seamless integration inside of the Audi A8. Yeah, yeah. the interior certainly has a very, it's got a very clean and contemporary feel. Right, Mark? Yeah. Uh, in the new Audi A8, minimalism is a key aesthetic principle. Audi is renowned for attention to detail, high quality materials, uh, finishes, meticulous precision and stitching, even the famous Audi Click, which is uh, one of our craziest examples of our obsession with the uh, highest standards of craftsmanship and engineering. Wow. Yeah, let's take a look at some highlights. For example, we have the wooden inlays, very generously sculpted, and you have this fine grain ash. But we also worked on the detail to integrate the Quattro label inside of the interior. And we have wonderful seats. And our designers, they worked on the perforation of the seats and really designed it hole by hole. And you know what? They even cool you. So aesthetics wow. and function come together. And this is how we work at Audi. This is Audi, yeah? And we have the same passion for detail in every aspect of the car, be it the front or the rear. And is the same attention to detail also evident in the car's digital aspects? It certainly is. With the new A8, we transfer this passion into a digital dimension. The quality is here for everyone to see and feel and hear. And the control interface uses new touch displays, which are almost invisible, integrated in a black panel surface. It helps to enhance our impression of um, spacious and truly harmonious environment. Yeah. Wow. If you get into the car, it, the car really comes alive. And it's a bit like using a smartphone. You can pinch, swipe, configure your personal settings. But it's very important. You also get an acoustic and haptic feedback. So whatever you do, you are in the driver's seat and you're always in control. Audi pays more attention to details than an Indian mother pays to her son's marriage. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. But uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for those fascinating insights. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to reveal the real star of the show, the new Audi A8. When times change, when new technologies arise, when values are redefined, it's true pioneers who give birth to new ideas. shape the mobility to come. Yet ideas alone cannot change the future. It takes a unique attitude to turn those ideas into something truly visionary. that crystallizes into the light of an iconic shape. The embodiment of status and sportiness.
of comfort and pleasure in life and on the road. You definitely should have a look later. Ladies and gentlemen, the all-new Audi A8 is the ultimate embodiment of status and prestige. The car has been built around an all-new single-frame architecture, which is a lot lower and a lot wider than the predecessor. This creates a sporty stance and makes the car a lot more prestige-orientated. The headlights are sleek and very narrow. And we integrate a very distinctive daytime running light, which creates a very self-confident and proud view. Um, two lines on a bonnet creates a very sculptured and muscular uh, element and visualize the power. And everything in the front is underlined by a very horizontal air intake, which stress the width of the car. But let us talk about the side view. And before we do this, I'd like to talk about the propulsion. If you recognized, um, the front end is 100% vertical and the rear end is positive angled. And it looks almost that the whole rear is pushing the car forward. This is inspired by a, by a classical motor yacht. And we did something special because Audi is standing for progressive. And that's, I'd like to explain to you what's different and, and in this proportion comparing to our competitors. 
we create a very bold, muscular, long extended body, and we put an almost coop like roof on it. The seat post is really, really fast. It looks almost like a photo coupe, but the head clearance is almost 20 mil more than the current car, but it looks in the like a coupe. This is really progressive. And the main feature in the site is one detail. For the last almost 30 years, the shoulder line at Audi had been on top of the wheel arches from the front to the back. This time, we introduced a complete new theme. The shoulder line went down in between the wheels. We did this because of two reasons. One reason is the point of gravity visually is coming down, so it's stressing the sportiness. The another reason, the most important one, is that we create space for a muscle on the rear wheel and on top of the front wheel because this visualizes Quattro, and Audi is Quattro. There's another nice detail I'd like to highlight is this very precise line, which is under the belt line, which is super precise, extends the whole length and creates a really elegant feeling. It's exactly in between the muscular strong body and the sleek roof line. Let us talk about the rear. Um, you recognize that the rear is very elegant. It's dominated by horizontal lines. And the main feature in this rear end is our very thin and precise LED taillight band. This is inspired by the past of Audi, but in a very modern way, very progressive, very thin, underlined by a very precise chrome bar. These taillights are featured by OLED technology, which is a lot more visible and illuminated, and it creates a kind of 3D effect. These horizontal lines are underlined by a very visible chrome line on the, on the bottom, which starts on the side section and in the back and houses the exhausts. And altogether, I have to say, with a very sleek and slim uh, window, it's a very elegant and powerful rear end. And to underline that this is Audi's flagship, we integrate a really, really unique light animation. This shows that this is our flagship. Like in the front, our HD matrix LED headlights and the laser lights. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we define at Audi new luxury. Thank you very much. The new Audi A8, our reference for Vorsprung durch Technik. It marks a decisive step on the road to autonomous driving. The precondition is a complete and permanent capturing of its surroundings. For that, the Audi flagship is equipped with a new comprehensive set of sensors. It's a first in the world of series production cars. 
the new Audi A8 has been developed for highly automated driving. On highways up to 60 kilometers an hour, it can take control, full control. The driver can remove his hands from the steering wheel. The new Audi AI Traffic Jam Pilot is a technical revolution. While automatically piloted, the central driver assistance control, ZFAS, permanently calculates an image of the surroundings through radar, front-facing camera, and ultrasonic sensors. The technical edge, a laser scanner. Audi is the first automotive manufacturer that uses this technology. The Audi AI Remote Park Pilot can park the Audi A8 automatically in the tightest parking space or garage, in and out. The driver doesn't even have to sit in the car. Another highlight in the package of innovations is the dynamic all-wheel steering. The steering ratio of the front axle varies with the speed. The rear wheels turn slightly against or in the same direction as the front wheels, depending on the speed level. The effect? Direct, sporty driving with unwavering stability. The Audi AI Active Suspension. This fully active electromechanically operated suspension system is able to move each wheel separately up or down, depending on the driver's wishes and the driving situation. The result? A smooth vehicle body response and the driving comfort of a classic luxury sedan to the dynamism of a sports car. The new A8 starts with two highly advanced V6 turbo engines a 3.0 TDI and a 3.0 TFSI. Two eight-cylinder engines will follow later. The top engine will be the W12. All five engines have a belt alternator starter, BAS, which is integrated into the 48-volt main electrical system. This mild hybrid technology reduces fuel during customer operation by up to 0.7 liters per 100 kilometers. At a later date, the A8L will offer a plug-in hybrid with a 3.0 TFSI engine and a powerful electric motor as well as wireless charging. Visual and haptic feedback and the application of standard touch gestures. The new MMI touch response offers a highly secure, intuitive and fast user response. With the new natural voice control, the driver can activate a variety of functions in the car. Intelligent traffic sign information and hazard information use the swarm intelligence of the Audi fleet. The new Audi A8, premium future in the luxury class. Today. Just incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Just beautiful. Next time we do one of these events, I want to be picked up in that. Actually, just give me five of them in different colors. That'll be nice. With all this technology inside the car itself, the car itself becomes the chauffeur. The future of fully automated driving is still a few years away, but Traffic Jam Pilot is one way of many that the A8 is leading all that is to come. Indeed, the vehicle is just the beginning of a new era of urban mobility. And what does that mean for Audi? How will the brand define the next step and beyond? I might play a PhD on television, but let's get some real answers from someone who really is a PhD. Our next speaker got his doctorate in engineering because we can't all be astrophysicists. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Peter Mertens, member of the Board of Management of Audi AG Technical Development. Ladies and gentlemen, what's the next big thing in evolution of the automobile? Well, the future of driving will surely be autonomous, no doubt about this. This is going to be a game changer. Self-driving cars need artificial intelligence as one of the key technologies allowing them to really cope with this incredible complexity of traffic. I imagine a world where getting from A to B is a pleasure with time well spent. A world with fewer accidents because powerful technology simply won't let them happen. Where resources may be used better than ever before. I imagine a world where emissions are reduced to zero. A world where people enjoy premium mobility. 
The core technology behind this vision starts with our central control unit, the ZVAS, the dedicated super brain for all assistance systems. Almost in real time, data from various systems will be matched with data from infrastructure and other road users. This is the enabler for level three of automated driving. With the new Audi A8, we are the first car maker prepared for the introduction of level three piloted driving. Well, level three means you take your hands off the steering wheel and the car does the rest. We call our innovation Audi AI Traffic Jam Pilot. This in turn will pave the way for the next step, level four, high automation and specific use cases such as highway at almost all speeds. We will raise the bar for our competition today at the Audi Summit and of course in the future. And now the car is coming. This car provides a preview to our second electric car, which is due to come in 2019. It will even be more intelligent because we increasingly implement Audi AI in all our future models. Audi AI is a new trademark of our brand. It uses deep learning to take a proactive approach to the human machine interface. Please experience it yourself at our brand space. Thank you for your attention and have a great day. Should care about the nature. Hola, Betty, so Betty. I hope the chat will be very useful. The voiture de l'avenir, c'est ça ce qu'il va avoir. Ich wünsch mir einen Turboknopf, damit man ganz, ganz schnell fahren kann. Mein Papa baut Autos für die Zukunft. Klingt interessant. In Zukunft sieht die Welt doch sowieso ganz anders aus. In a world where time is short, and in a time where our world is getting smaller. When looking for solutions, you've got to take the jump and move beyond the tried and trusted. Foshbowl means to aim higher than before, while being more attractive than ever. Today our world is completely connected, and so are our cars. They turn into a place of new experiences for work and leisure. Our car will become a good friend making our life easier. A new definition of luxury. Foshbowl means offering even more to our customers in the future, but also leaving a planet that allows our children even bigger leaps. New kinds of fuels, new zero emission cars, the start of a thrilling new mobility. Forsbong means clean cars built in clean factories. It's not the production line, it's our employees that set the pace. Humans and machines working hand in hand. Forsbong also means smart cars for smart cities. This life is For mega cities all over the world, we develop Audi Urban Solutions to give us more time and space. Already today, we create automated cars. And for the sharing culture, we create premium mobility. And Audi, when I want it and where I want it. Let's think beyond, because Forsberg is our promise.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chairman of the Board of Management, Rupert Stadler. So ladies and gentlemen, people love brands. This is a matter of relationship and of trust. And people buy brands because they know exactly what they are getting. Among them, premium brands exert an extraordinary attraction. Customers are ready to spend more on premium products because premium products offer more. More quality, more comfort, much more excitement, more status, so to say, in short, added value. A good example is our brand new Audi A8, our so-called signature car. It carries the signature of our brand, of our designers, and of our engineers. And this flagship has a progressive and highly emotive appeal. The A8 makes clear a brand is always a promise. And our promise is Vorsprung. And Vorsprung means walking the extra mile, staying ahead of others, developing the most convenient solutions and offering a unique reason for friends to become fans. We take our promise seriously. In Latin, Audi simply means listen. And for us, this means listen to people, listen to our customers. We listen when they applaud, as well as when they criticize us, when they demand more or even less. We listen to words that have not yet been explicitly spoken to deliver the so-called unexpected. And when it comes to mobility, technology matters. We strive to be one of the world's leading technology companies. And this summit is a new format for Audi to celebrate the latest news on products on technology and our brand promise. So today, with more than 2,000 friends and fans of Audi here in Barcelona, and a key promise, of course, is to simplify the lives of our customers. Wherever you plan to go, whatever you plan to do, Audi AI will be there. I call Audi AI a technology promise. Audi plus intelligence plus forward thinking. This becomes Audi AI. It is not about one car alone. It is about all partners in traffic all together. Interconnected with each other, they form the so-called swarm intelligence. And this results in the perfect flow on our streets. Our future cars will manage traffic in defined zones in the city, as well as on highways all by themselves. And they will leave it up to you to drive or to be driven. Audi AI supports you. Audi AI thinks for you. And AI increases your level of independence. So Audi AI is everywhere. When the world is ready for this next level of mobility, we will continuously increase the power of this Audi AI button. Today, you have the chance to experience a time capsule in our brand space. You will experience firsthand how driving in a futuristic car might feel like. Together with the Fraunhofer Institute for Industrial Engineering, we do examine in our lab experiments how to lower stress and maximize concentration on board. Accordingly, we will fine-tune the interior of our cars to the unique preferences of each Audi user. 
We want to know how do we create true premium experience in a future of self-driving cars. It is about making the best use of your time. Our metaphor of the 25th hour stands for this great gift. Downtime, when you need a break and some entertainment. Productive time, when you want to get things done. And quality time spent with family and friends. Why shouldn't the car allow all of this? Future premium means taking back control of your time. Because time is one of the most valuable goods. Just imagine, you get into the car, into a comfortable lounge ambience, and your car already knows that you want to enjoy some quality time with your kids. And we guarantee no distraction at all. All this and much more will be made possible by Audi AI. Not in the far future. We start with this right now, with a new generation of Audi cars to come. Our customers expect more than others do. They merge the digital and real world. They stay connected with their peer groups. They still see individual mobility as a declaration of independence. So they act responsibly for a sustainable future. And they enjoy urban living in smart cities with seamless mobility. This is why we strategically aim at digitization, sustainability, and urbanization. These are the three drivers for Audi. Vorsprung. 2025. Ladies and gentlemen, and the story goes on. Following the Audi A8, there are quite a few models in the pipeline for 2018. The Audi A7 and the Audi A6 from our German plant in Neckarsulm. The Audi Q3 from Hungary. The Audi A1, which will be reborn here in Maturell just half an hour from here. And also in 2018, you will experience the Audi e-tron made in Brussels, which raises electric mobility to the so-called next level. This is the starting point of a large product initiative. This Audi A8 stands for the journey of the four rings, a journey into the next decade and into a new era of our brand. And there is a lot more to come from Audi. Please stay tuned to what we are going to unveil, for example, in Frankfurt in eight weeks' time. These two letters, AI, and the idea behind it will be an omnipresent companion on our way into a new era. Thank you very much.
My character Raj would enjoy giving a lecture on Einstein's special theory of relativity. Your velocity affects the speed at which time passes you. But Audi has a special theory of its own in piloted driving. Giving us an hour back in our day, it bends the laws of physics. Well, soon enough, the technology will give us that 25th hour. But in the meantime, Audi wants to give us the advanced version of that 25th hour. Next door is the Audi brand space. The men and women of Audi are exhibiting ideas for the urban environment, home charging solutions, and great cars. Please have a look. Thank you so much for joining us at the first Audi Summit. Enjoy your 25th hour. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.